today. Intel's new KS model will hurt your power bill. Nvidia just released something huge. AMD finally has a secret weapon, and Ryzen 9000 performance will blow your mind. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, Intel is apparently set to release a special edition version of their 14900K, making it the KS model. And like previous KS variants, it's set to have slightly higher clocks and more power draw. But because their 14th gen CPUs are essentially just 13th gen with slightly higher clocks, this KS model looks to be a massive power hog. According to a new report, the CPU draws as much as 409 watts at stock speed with power limits unlocked. It also comes with a maximum P-Core boost frequency of 6.2 GHz, which is obviously a 200 MHz boost over the last gen KS variant, but with power draw like this, the limited edition model is looking more and more useless by the day. Next up for today, Nvidia just dropped a massive announcement that really could be a huge deal. But first, as someone who's built websites many times in the past, I can tell you that you don't have to learn coding, design, or really anything like that to create your very own custom site. Actually, you can have AI build it for you with today's sponsor, Hostinger, a hosting platform that has everything you need to build and deploy your website for as little as $2.99 a month. Plus, you'll get 10% off with my code GAMERMELD. Before I get to that, for less than a cup of coffee a month, Hostinger can come with a free domain, free SSL, free email address, and more. And when it comes to building your site, you can get one up and running in minutes without an ounce of coding by choosing from 150 designer-made templates, or you could just have AI generate the site for you by using the AI Website Builder, which creates a website based on your prompt in only a couple of minutes. You can even use their AI Writer to make the site SEO-friendly, use an AI Logo Maker for your logo, and even an AI heat map to predict visitor behavior. And you get all of this for $2.99 a month with two months free when you visit hostinger.com slash gamermeld. And when you use code gamermeld in all caps, you'll get an extra 10% off. So stop delaying and build your site today at hostinger.com slash gamermeld. Now back to the story, NVIDIA's new announcement is called Chat with RTX, and it's a personalized AI chatbot that runs locally on your own PC. So you know what you're discussing is... Private. Uh -huh. All jokes aside, a way more important feature is that it can connect to your own content like documents, notes, videos, etc. For example, The Verge created a data set of FTC versus Microsoft documents from last year's court case, and Chat with RTX was able to help search for different things in the documents way faster than they ever could. So this could be something great for journalists, researchers, and really any field that needs to look at databases. With that said, it only works with NVIDIA's 30 and 40 series GPUs with at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM. It also requires 16 gigabytes of memory or greater and Windows 11. And of course, that Windows 11 bit sucks for many, but the key thing here is that RTX requirement. This is, of course, powered by NVIDIA's Tensor Cores, and I have to at least say it is smart but a bit annoying. This is a part of the growing list of proprietary features being added to NVIDIA GPUs, and it's ultimately used to give consumers more reason to buy an NVIDIA GPU besides which card is better at gaming. Think their RTX Voice, RTX Remix, RTX Video Super Resolution, though obviously AMD has something similar, but you get the point. NVIDIA wants potential customers to have a ton of reasons to buy an NVIDIA GPU, and it's a smart play, but annoying at the same time because it forces you into this walled garden that comes companies like Apple like to do, but it's effective, so they certainly won't stop anytime soon. NVIDIA's chat with RTX currently has a demo available right now, so check it out if your system meets the requirements. And speaking of proprietary tech, NVIDIA has one thing that's helped it completely dominate the market, and that is CUDA. For those who don't know, CUDA is NVIDIA's software platform and programming model that's become the standard in multiple industries. AMD's been trying to create their own series of software to challenge it called ROCM, but so far they're leagues behind NVIDIA's CUDA software, though it is getting better all the time. With that said, NVIDIA software has really been the driving force holding AMD GPUs back from wider market adoption. Well, a new piece of software just dropped that looks set to completely change that. It's called Zluda, and it allows CUDA software 
run on ROCM without any modifications. What's wild is that it started out a couple years ago as an open source software to enable CUDA on Intel GPUs, but they randomly discontinued it for private reasons. Come to find out, AMD contacted them about funding the project for AMD GPUs, and they did work out a deal, but surprisingly, AMD discontinued funding it this year. With that said, there was a clause that allowed the developer to make it anyway as an open source project, and they did. Still though, why on earth would you stop funding this AMD? Anyway, Foronix got a chance to check it out, and AMD GPUs actually perform really well. What's wild is that the Zluda with CUDA implementation actually runs better than the integrated Radeon support in Blender. So even with software that natively supports ROCM, it does better. Let's just say this is a game changer. And lastly for today, it looks like AMD's Ryzen 9000 is set to be one gigantic upgrade of our current gen, to the point where it could see AMD completely crush the competition. I'm talking a gigantic IPC increase and more. For those who don't know, I recently covered a story that showed AMD had begun adding support for Ryzen 9000 in Linux. But according to a user from the Anantech forum and later reported by Hot Hardware, he found some very interesting new changes from Zen 4 to Zen 5 in this code. According to this, Ryzen 9000 will come with 50% more ALU pipes, an extra AGU pipe, double the floating point store pipes, and more. Not to mention the new instruction sets that I already discussed. Basically, this points to a pretty massive overhaul in their next-gen architecture, and it might just explain this recent leak from Red Gaming Tech. According to him, multiple sources that he's hearing from state that next-gen Ryzen could in fact get up to a whopping 30% IPC increase. From what I understand, this would be an average IPC increase. Remember that IPC is a per-application upgrade, so it'll be better in some and worse in others, but 30% is huge. With that said, it's so big that I do want to caution not to get too excited. I'm sort of talking to myself here as well, but if it is true, it could make Ryzen 9000 one of the largest performance uplifts yet, and he's even claiming that it not only won't see a clock regression, but it could get up to 6 gigahertz. That obviously doesn't sound like too much more than what we have now, but don't forget that this would be performance above that 30% IPC increase. So if this is right, we could seriously be looking at a next level upgrade. So while that does it for today, what Ryzen 9000 CPU are you planning to get? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to pick up Hostinger at hostinger.com slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day!